Welcome to Evo AI, where we navigate the intriguing evolution of artificial intelligence. I'm your host, Bogdan Yanku, and in this series, we'll explore how artificial intelligence is transforming the way we work, innovate, and grow. From small startups to corporate giants, we'll unravel the mysteries of AI, uncovering insights, strategies, and the real-world impact on our everyday lives. Whether you're in sales, finance, marketing, human resources, or just curious about artificial intelligence, Evo AI has something for you. Hello, dear listeners, and welcome back to another episode of AI Unlocked. Today, we take a deep dive into one of the most important topics in the world of artificial intelligence, the transformer architecture. It is because of the discovery and development of transformers that today we have things like ChatGPT or BARD, or Llama, or Palm, or Claude 2. But before we begin, just allow me to quickly remind you that if you like our podcast, please follow us on Spotify, Apple, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and Radio Public. A like or share with your friends will be more than welcome. Now let's begin. Before we dive into the world of Transformers, it's essential to understand the broader context. The last decade has witnessed an AI renaissance, from humble beginnings and long winter seasons of hardened skepticism, AI has emerged as a force that's reshaping industries, economies, and our daily lives. Enter Transformers. Amidst the backdrop, in 2017, a research paper titled Attention is All You Need was published. While the title might sound unassuming, its contents were anything but. This paper introduced the transformer architecture, a novel approach that would soon revolutionize the field of deep learning. To truly appreciate the revolutionary nature of the attention is all you need paper, one must understand the landscape of deep learning prior to its release. Neural networks have been making strides, especially with the architectures like RNNs or recurrent neural networks and LSTMs, long short-term memory networks. These models were designed to handle sequences, making them particularly suited for tasks like language translation. However, they had their limitations, especially when it came to processing long sequences and capturing long-term dependencies in data. The paper introduced the transformer architecture, which, at its core, proposed a radical departure from the sequential processing of RNNs and LSTMs. Instead of processing data in order, transformers leverage the mechanism called attention to draw global dependencies between input and output. This meant that every word or token in a sequence could directly influence every other word in the output, allowing for a richer, more content-aware representation. Why it mattered? This approach was groundbreaking for several reasons. Firstly, it addressed the limitations of previous architectures offering a more efficient way to handle long sequences. Secondly, by focusing on attention, transformers could capture intricate relationships in data, leading to better performance on tasks like translation, where understanding context is crucial. Beyond just the technical details, the paper represented the vision for the future of deep learning. It hinted at the potential of attention mechanisms to redefine our understanding of neural networks. The transformer architecture with its parallel processing capabilities also promised scalability, a crucial factor given the ever-growing datasets of the modern world. The AI community recognized the paper's significance almost immediately. It sparked a flurry of research with scientists and researchers exploring the potential of transformers in various domains. The architecture's adaptability meant it wasn't just confined to natural language processing. It had implications for fields ranging from computer vision to bioinformatics. So what made transformers stand out? Traditional neural network architectures, while very powerful, had limitations in handling sequences and understanding long-term dependencies in data. Transformers, with their unique attention mechanisms, promised to overcome these challenges, offering a more nuanced understanding of data, be it text, images, or more. The minds behind this groundbreaking architecture were from Google, a company at the forefront of numerous technological innovations. Google's foray into deep learning was already well known. But with transformers, they were not just iterating, they were leapfrogging everyone, setting new benchmarks for what AI models could achieve. The introduction of transformers wasn't just an incremental improvement, it was a paradigm shift. By focus on attention, 
which is the idea that the model should weigh different parts of the input differently depending on the context, Transformers brought a level of dynamism and adaptability previously unseen. This was not just another model. It was a new way of thinking about data processing in neural networks. As we embark on this journey today to explore transformers, it's crucial to recognize their significance. They represent a confluence of innovative thinking, technological prowess, and the relentless pursuit of pushing boundaries. In this podcast, we'll unravel their story, their workings, and their profound impact on the world of AI. So how do transformers work? At the heart of the transformer architecture lies the attention mechanism. But what is attention? In simple terms, it's the model's ability to focus on specific parts of the input when producing an output. Just as humans pay attention to certain words when listening to a sentence, transformers weigh the importance of different parts in the input data. A unique feature of transformers is self-attention. This allows each word or token in the input to focus on all other words, not just the adjacent or nearby ones. It's this global perspective that enables transformers to capture long-range dependencies and intricate relationships in data. One might wonder, if transformers process input data in parallel, unlike the sequential RNNs, for example, how do they account for the order of words? The answer is positional encoding. By adding this to the embeddings, transformers can maintain a sense of word order, ensuring that the model recognizes patterns like not only, but also. Transformers employ multi-head attention, which means they don't just focus on one aspect of the input data. Instead, they have multiple heads paying attention to various features simultaneously. This multifaceted approach ensures a richer understanding of the input. The transformer model is built on an encoder-decoder structure, which we covered already in a previous episode. The encoder processes the input data, creating a context vector. This vector is then fed into the decoder, which produces the output. Each encoder and decoder has multiple layers, allowing for deep and complex representations. Traditional encoder-decoder architectures like RNNs and LSTMs process text sequentially. Imagine reading a book one word at a time, trying to remember the plot as you progress. These models encode each word based on the previous words, creating a context or memory that evolves with each word. The final state of the encoder represents the entire sentence or sequence. This state is then used by the decoder to generate the output, again, one word at a time. While effective, This approach has limitations, especially when dealing with long sequences. The model might struggle to remember the beginning of a long sentence by the time it reaches the end. In these models, words are first converted into embeddings, which are dense vector representations. These embeddings capture semantic information, meaning similar words have similar embeddings. However, the embeddings are static. The representation for a word like bank would be the same whether it's used in the context of a river or a financial institution. Transformers revolutionize this process. Instead of reading word by word, they process the entire text at once. It's like looking at a complete picture instead of assembling a puzzle. Through self-attention, each word in the input can relate to every other word, capturing dependencies regardless of distance. This global perspective allows transformers to understand context more holistically. In transformers, embeddings are augmented with positional encodings to retain word order information. But here's where it gets fascinating. The attention mechanism dynamically adjusts the weights given to different words based on context. So the word bank would have its representation influenced more by river in one context and money in another. This dynamic weighting allows transformers to generate context-sensitive embeddings, leading to a richer understanding of text. Both architectures convert words into vectors or embeddings, but how they use these vectors differs. 
Traditional models evolve the context vector sequentially, influenced by each new word. Transformers, on the other hand, use attention weights to create a context-sensitive matrix of vectors. These weights determine how much influence each word has on the others, leading to a matrix that captures the entire text's essence in parallel. To ensure smooth training and better performance, transformers utilize skip or residual connections. This means that the output of one layer is added to the input of a subsequent layer, helping mitigate the vanishing gradient problem. Layer normalization is also applied, ensuring that the activations don't reach extremely high or extremely low values. The transformer's design, with its emphasis on attention and parallel processing, offers several advantages. It's highly scalable and capable of handling vast data sets efficiently. Its ability to capture global dependencies makes it adept at tasks where context is crucial, like translation or summarization. So why do transformers matter? Transformers have undeniably become the cornerstone of modern artificial intelligence. Their inception, marked by Google's 2017 research paper, Attention is All You Need, has led to a cascade of innovations in the AI realm. The generative AI wave that's currently captivating the world owes its momentum to the transformer architecture. From AI models like Palm, GPT-4, and Llama, to advancement in computer vision, robotics, and computational biology, transformers have showcased their versatility and prowess. But what makes transformers so pivotal in today's AI landscape? First of all, universality. Originally designed for language translation, transformers have demonstrated their adaptability by pushing the boundaries in various domains, from language processing to image recognition. Another one would be computational efficiency. The parallel processing capability of transformers, where all words in a text are analyzed simultaneously, offers a more comprehensive understanding of the content. This not only enhances accuracy, but also boosts computational efficiency, especially when paired with GPU hardware that's inherently parallelized. Then also scalability. Transformers can be trained on vast datasets and can be built with an enormous number of parameters, making them more potent and adaptable. However, as with any technology, transformers are not without their challenges. One of the primary challenges is their quadratic scaling. In simple terms, as the length of the sequence processed by a transformer increases, the computational requirement grows at a rate proportional to the square of the sequence length. This means that doubling the length of a sequence would quadruple the computational effort. This poses challenges, especially when dealing with very long sequences like entire textbooks or genomes. But the AI community is relentless. Efforts are underway to address these challenges and potentially replace transformers. For instance, architectures like Hyena are showing promise. Instead of attention, Hyena leverages long convolutions and element-wise multiplication. Convolutions are mathematical operations that can capture patterns in data, and when they are long, they can capture patterns over extended sequences. Element-wise multiplication, on the other hand, is a technique where corresponding elements of two arrays are multiplied. This offers computational efficiency, especially for longer sequences, hinting at the potential of using entire textbooks as context or processing gigapixel scale images. Furthermore, while transformers have been the reigning champions in AI, they have certain limitations. Their static nature means they can't learn continuously. Their intricate design makes them black boxes, challenging to interpret, especially in critical applications like healthcare. Emerging architectures like Liquid Neural Networks from MIT offer potential solutions. These networks are inspired by biology and have a unique feature, probabilistic weights. Unlike traditional neural networks that have fixed weights, Liquid neural networks can adapt their weights based on the inputs they encounter, making them more dynamic and adaptable. Their smaller size also makes them more transparent and interpretable, addressing the black box challenge of transformers. Before transformers, the AI community was making steady progress, but the introduction of the transformer architecture led to a quantum leap. Tasks that were previously challenging, like high-quality machine translation or intricate text summarization, saw significant improvements in accuracy and fluency. One of the standout features of transformers is their parallel processing capability. 
Traditional models with their sequential nature had inherent limitations in handling vast datasets. Transformers, with their ability to process entire sequences simultaneously, brought about a new era of large-scale models, setting the stage for models like GPT-3 and BERT. While the initial focus was on natural language processing, the transformer architecture proves its mettle across various domains, from computer vision tasks where they capture patterns in images to bioinformatics where they can help in predicting protein structures, their adaptability is nothing short of remarkable. The transformer architecture didn't just stop at the initial design. It became the foundation upon which numerous variations and optimizations were built. Models like BERT, which focuses on bidirectional context, or T5, text-to-text -text transfer transformer, which treats every problem as a text-to-text -text problem, owe their existence to the foundational transformer design. With the success of transformers, there was a huge surge in pre-trained models made available to the public. This democratization meant that even those without the resources to train large models could now access state-of-the-art AI capabilities. It spurred innovation, with researchers and developers fine-tuning these models for niche applications, further expanding the AI ecosystem. The power of transformers also brought to the forefront discussions about AI ethics. As these models become more integral into systems, from content generation to decision-making tools, the AI community began to grapple with questions about bias, fairness, and the broader societal implications of such influential technology. The journey of AI is one of evolution. While transformers have unified AI methodology across various domains, the future might see specialized architectures for specific applications. The rapid pace of AI innovations ensures that the landscape will continue to evolve, bringing forth new methodologies and architectures that might either coexist with or replace transformers. In conclusion, while transformers have revolutionized AI, the field remains dynamic. As we look to the horizon, we can anticipate further breakthroughs, novel architectures and innovative methodologies that will shape the future of artificial intelligence. Let's now look at the mathematics behind transformers. Transformers, with their intricate design, are a marvel of mathematical and computational engineering. To truly appreciate their genius, let's delve deeper into some of the core mathematical concepts that power them. Words or tokens from a text are initially converted into vectors using embeddings. These embeddings are multidimensional representations where semantically similar words cluster closer together in this space. It's a way to translate human language into a format that machines can process efficiently. Central to the transformer's design is the self-attention mechanism. It determines how much focus each word in a sentence should have on every other word. This is achieved through three vectors derived from the initial embeddings. One, the query vector, and represents the word we're focusing on. The second one, it's the key vector, and represents every word we're comparing against. And the third one, it's the value vector, which contains the information from each word in the input. The attention score is computed by taking the dot product of the query and key vectors, followed by a scaling operation and then a softmax to get the weights. These weights determine how much attention each word gets. The final output is a weighted sum of the value vectors based on these attention scores. Transformers lack an inherent sense of order. To provide them with sequence information, positional encodings are added to the embeddings. These encodings ensure that the model can account for the position of words in a sequence, which is vital for understanding context and meaning. At the heart of transformer self-attention mechanism are the attention scores. These scores determine how much focus each word in a sentence should have on every other word. In simpler terms, for a given word, the attention scores dictate how much attention it should pay to the other words when producing its output representation. This is crucial because it allows the model to capture context and relationships between words, regardless of their distance in a sequence. For example, in a sentence, the cat which was black sat on the mat, the relationship between cat and black is crucial for understanding the sentence's context. 
Attention scores ensure that when the model processes the word cat, it gives significantly weight to the word black, capturing the relationship effectively. While the attention mechanism is powerful, transformers take it a step further with multi-head attention. Instead of having a single set of attention scores, multi-head attention allows the model to have multiple sets, each focusing on different parts of the input. This is analogous to viewing an object from multiple angles to get a comprehensive understanding. In the context of language, multi-head attention enables the model to capture various linguistic features simultaneously. One head might focus on a syntactic structure, another on semantic relationships, and yet another one on capturing nuances like sarcasm or tone. By combining the outputs of all these heads, transformers get a rich, multifaceted understanding of the input text. This multi-pronged approach is a significant reason why transformers excel in complex NLP tasks. It allows them to understand context, nuance, and relationships in text data with remarkable depth and precision. Let's talk now about layer normalization and feedforward networks. After computing attention scores, the data undergoes layer normalization. This process adjusts and scales the activations to ensure they have a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. It helps in stabilizing the activations, preventing them from reaching extremely high or very low values, which in turn aids in faster and more stable training. Post-normalization, the data is passed through feed-forward neural networks. These are standard neural networks that apply a linear transformation to the data followed by non-linear activations. In transformers, these networks are applied independently to each position, transforming the data at each spot in the sequence. We should probably state here that training a model is essentially an optimization problem. The goal is to adjust the model's parameters such that the difference or error between its predictions and the actual data is minimized. This error is quantified using a loss function. To minimize this loss, optimization algorithms are applied. One of the most popular optimization algorithms used in training transformers is the ADAM optimizer. It's an adaptive learning rate optimization algorithm that's particularly well suited for large scale data and parameter spaces. Adam combines the advantages of two other popular optimization algorithms, ADAGRAD and RMSPROP. In summary, transformers are a complex mixture of advanced mathematical concepts from linear algebra and probability to optimization. Each component, meticulously designed and integrated, contributes to the model's unparalleled capabilities in handling various AI tasks. Let's get now to transformers and how they contribute to the evolution of NLP. Natural language processing, or NLP, stands as a cornerstone in artificial intelligence research, holding its ground alongside the domains like computer vision. The essence of knowledge is encoded and transferred among individuals through text, which follows a formally defined structure. However, the intricacies of different languages vary in context and the nuanced particularities of diverse communication channels present formidable challenges. Historically, the overarching task of general language modeling and understanding was subdivided into specific subtasks. This included question and answering, image captioning, text summarization, machine translation, and natural language generation. As the field progressed, recurrent neural networks, or RNNs, became a popular choice in the NLP community, making significant milestones. Yet, they had their limitations. RNNs found it computationally taxing to encode long-term relations among words in a sentence or among sentences in a document especially in tasks like text generation where encoding these dependencies is paramount, the inference time with RNNs could become impractically slow. Enter transformers. In a bid to address the limitations of RNNs, the groundbreaking work of Ashwani and his team introduced the transformers architecture. The revolutionary idea was to emphasize attention mechanisms while doing away with recurrence. This shift was monumental. In no time, transformers emerged as the go-to back-end model for a majority of NLP tasks. Since its inception in December 2017, the concept has garnered over 4,000 citations and has been the foundation for numerous significant works. 
the early successes of transformers led the community to focus on developing even larger models, integrating scaled-up transformers and extending context windows. This evolution marked a transition from task-specific training procedures to a broader approach to language modeling. However, it's worth noting that while current models powered by transformers can generate text with unparalleled complexity, they predominantly rely on the statistical knowledge embedded in text corpora. This means they often don't encode the genuine meaning behind words. As a result, the text they produce can sometimes oscillate between impressively coherent segments and sequences that lack meaningful context. Addressing this gap in capturing the true essence of language is a challenge that cannot be easily overcome by attention mechanisms alone. The rise of transformers in NLP has set the stage for the development of large language models. These models backed by the power of transformers have shown immense promise in understanding and generating human-like text, making them invaluable assets in the AI domain. As we move forward, it's crucial to recognize the transformative impact of the transformer architecture. Its ability to reshape the landscape of NLP and power large language models positions it as a pivotal innovation, one that will undoubtedly influence the trajectory of AI research and applications in the years to come. The rise of transformers in NLP was not just a mere advancement in model architecture. It was the catalyst that enabled the development of large language models. LLMs are essentially neural networks with billions, even trillions of parameters trained on vast amounts of text data. Their sheer size allows them to store an incredible amount of information, making them adept at understanding and generating human-like text. Why LLMs matter? First of all, LLMs, due to their extensive training data, have a broad knowledge base. This means they can generate text to a wide range of topics, from scientific concepts to pop culture references. They can answer questions, write essays, generate creative content, and even code in multiple programming languages. Secondly, because of their fine-tuning capabilities, well, while LLMs are trained on general datasets, they can be fine-tuned on specific datasets to excel in niche tasks. This adaptability makes them invaluable in specialized domains like legal, medical, or technical writing. And last but not least, human-like interaction. LLMs can understand context and nuance, allowing them to engage in human-like interactions. This capability has paved the way for advanced chatbots, virtual assistants, and customer support systems. Well, transformers and LLMs are truly a match made in heaven. In AI heaven, I should say. The Transformers architecture, with its self-attention mechanism, is inherently suited for LLMs. The ability of Transformers to capture long-range dependencies in text is crucial for LLMs to understand context. Moreover, the parallel processing capability of Transformers make it feasible to train such massive models in a reasonable time frame. However, it's not all rosy. Training LLMs require vast computational resources, making it a domain primarily accessible to big tech companies. There's also the challenge of biases. Since LLMs are trained on vast internet datasets, they can inherit and even amplify the biases present in those datasets. Addressing these biases is a significant area of ongoing research. As we look ahead, the potential applications of LLMs are vast. From revolutionizing content creation to enabling real-time multilingual translations, the possibilities are endless. However, as with any powerful tool, it's essential to use LLMs responsibly, ensuring that they benefit humanity while minimizing potential harm. In conclusion, the synergy between transformers and LLMs has set a new benchmark in the world of AI. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, it's clear that these technologies will play a central role in shaping the future of NLP and AI at large. Let's cover now future applications and the potential of transformer models. I think it's important. The transformative power of transformer models in the realm of AI and NLP is really undeniable. But as we stand on the precipice of a new era in technology, it's essential to look into the horizon and envision where these models might take us. Well, let's make some predictions for transformer models. First, we expect global integration. 
As technology becomes more intertwined with our daily lives, we can expect transformer models to be integrated into a plethora of applications. From smart homes that understand context and nuance to educational platforms offering personalized learning experience, the potential here is vast. Then, real-time multilingual communication. Imagine a world where language barriers are a thing of the past. With the advancements in transformer models, real-time translation and interpretation services could become seamlessly integrated in our communication tools, fostering global collaboration and understanding. Also, enhanced creativity tools. Creative professions will witness a revolution in the near future. Whether it's script writing, music composition or design, transformer models can offer suggestions and enhancements and even generate foundational elements, allowing human creativity to flourish atop AI-generated content. And of course, healthcare and personalized medicine. Transformer models could analyze vast data sets from medical journals to patient records, providing doctors with insights, diagnosis assistance, and personalized treatment plans, potentially revolutionizing patient care. In terms of synergy with other emerging technologies, well, let's start with quantum computing. The marriage of quantum computing and transformer models could lead to unimaginable computational speeds, training massive models or Analyzing colossal data sets could become tasks of mere minutes or even seconds. Then augmented reality, AR, and virtual reality, VR. As AR and VR technologies mature, integrating transformer models can lead to more immersive experience. Imagine a VR history lesson where students can converse with AI-driven historical figures asking questions and receiving contextually accurate answers. Enters edge computing. With the rise of IoT devices, bringing AI closer to the data source becomes crucial. Transformer models optimized for edge devices can lead to smarter gadgets from wearables to home appliances capable of processing data locally and offering real-time insights. And finally, neuromorphing computing. Inspired by the human brain, neuromorphic chips can process information more efficiently. When combined with transformer models, we might see AI systems that not only think, but also feel, understanding human emotions and nuances at a deeper level. In essence, the future of transformer models is not just about their standalone capabilities, but also about how they integrate and amplify other technological advancements. As we venture into this uncharted territory, one thing is clear. The synergy of transformers with the broader technological landscape holds the promise of a smarter, more connected and more empathetic world. Let's delve into some of the companies and startups that are at the forefront of transformer-based technology and their potential applications. One would be Cohere. A startup led by former Google brain researcher, Cohere has secured a whooping 125 million US dollars in funding. Their primary focus is on transformer neural networks, aiming to push boundaries of what's possible in natural language processing. Their advancements could lead to more sophisticated chatbots, virtual assistants, and other NLP applications. In terms of generative AI, the Financial Times highlighted the rise of generative AI, which owes its existence to transformer technology. This field focuses on software that can generate new content, be it text, images, or even music. The potential here is vast, from creating art to generating realistic video game environments, or even assisting in design and content creation. Hugging Face Recognized by its contributions to the NLP community, Hugging Face has been instrumental in democratizing transformer technology. Companies like Google, Facebook, and OpenAI have built large language models like BERT, Roberta, Llama, GPT-3, and GPT-4 based on transformer technology, and Hugging Face's platform has made these models accessible to developers worldwide. NVIDIA, known for its graphic processing units, NVIDIA has also ventured into the realm of transformers. They've highlighted the potential of transformers in detecting trends and anomalies, which can be pivotal in preventing fraud, streamlining manufacturing processes, making online recommendations, or even enhancing healthcare diagnostics. Frontiers Research 
A study showcased the development of a transformer intelligent operation and maintenance system based on the graph neural network. Such systems can leverage multidimensional and interrelated heterogeneous data, achieving deep information integration. This could revolutionize sectors like energy, where efficient operation and maintenance are crucial. The synergy of transformers with other emerging technologies like quantum computing, augmented reality and edge computing can lead to innovations we've yet to imagine. For instance, combining transformers with AR could result in real-time language translation in augmented reality glasses. Similarly, integrating them with quantum computing might speed up processing times exponentially, making real-time complex data analysis a reality. The journey of transformers from a groundbreaking research paper to their current omnipresence in AI is nothing short of remarkable. As we stand on the cusp of another technological revolution, it's evident that transformers will play a pivotal role in shaping the future. For those intrigued by their potential, now is the time to delve deeper, innovate and be part of this exciting journey. But is it all rosy? What about some of the challenges in the world of transformers? The sheer scale of transformer models, with some like GPT-3 boasting a staggering 175 billion parameters, presents a host of challenges. First of all, hardware requirements. Training these behemoths necessitates cutting-edge hardware. NVIDIA's A100 Tensor Core GPU, for instance, is a popular choice for its high computational throughput. Google's TPU, which stands for Tensor Processing Unit, especially in the TPU V4, is another powerhouse optimized for machine learning tasks. These devices can accelerate matrix multiplications, a core operation in transformer models. However, the cost and accessibility of such hardware can be prohibitive for many researchers and institutions. Then, memory constraints. Large models can exceed the memory capacity of even the most advanced GPUs. This has led to the adoption of model parallelism, where models' layers or paths are distributed across multiple GPUs, allowing them to work in tandem. Also, environmental concerns. The energy consumption of training these models is significant. Training a model like GPT-3 can consume as much electricity as a small town over a few days. This has environmental implications, especially in terms of carbon footprint. And potential biases. Data-driven models like transformers are only as good as the data they trained on. Biased data leads to biased models. There is a risk of the model producing outputs that might be racially, gender or culturally biased. Biased models in decision-making roles like hiring can perpetuate societal inequalities. In terms of ethical considerations, transformers can generate highly realistic but entirely fictitious content, a potential tool for misinformation campaigns. Over-relying on these models in critical sectors can be risky. An incorrect medical diagnosis or financial prediction can have severe consequences. Technical requirements in terms of software. TensorFlow and PyTorch are the primary frameworks for deep learning, with Hugging Faces Transformers library providing pre-trained models and tools specifically tailored for transformer architectures. Considering hardware, beyond NVIDIA's GPU and Google's TPUs, there's also AMD's Radeon Instinct MI100 Accelerator, which offers high-performance machine learning capabilities. For storage, NVMe SSDs or high-speed cloud storage solutions are preferred to handle the massive datasets and model weights. In terms of optimization techniques, to make models more efficient, techniques like quantization, which is the reducing the precision of the numbers in the model, and pruning, which is removing parts of the model that contribute little, are employed. Knowledge distillation, where a smaller model is trained to mimic a larger one, is another strategy to get a more compact model without a significant drop in performance. The transformer architecture has undeniably revolutionized AI. However, harnessing its full potential requires addressing its challenges head-on, from the technical to the ethical. As we push the boundaries of what's possible with these models, it's crucial to do so responsibly and inclusively. Let's see if and where transformers can go beyond text, and let's look at applications for transformers in diverse domains. One would be image processing. Transformers have started to make significant inroads into the realm of computer vision. 
Traditional convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, have been the to-go-to for image-related tasks, but the flexibility and power of transformers are beginning to change that. Vision Transformer, or VIT, is a notable example where images are divided into fixed size patches, linearly embedded, and then processed in a manner similar to sequences in NLP. This approach has shown competitive results, even outperforming CNNs in certain benchmarks. Then, bioinformatics. The field of genomics and bioinformatics is another area where transformers are making a mark. A study from the PMC and CBI highlights the potential of transformer architectures in diverse genomic research contexts. The ability of transformers to capture long-range dependencies make them particularly suited for analyzing DNA sequences, predicting protein structures, and more. Also, histopathological image analysis. A survey from Biomedical Engineering Online points to the growing applications of transformers in histopathological imaging. This domain requires the analysis of examples to diagnose diseases. The intricate patterns and the need for high precision make transformers an excellent choice for such tasks. And cross-domain adaptation. The CD Trans research introduces a cross-domain transformer for unsupervised domain adaptation. It's a technique where knowledge from a labeled source domain is transferred to a different, unlabeled target domain. This is particularly useful when labeled data is scarce or expensive to obtain in the target domain. In terms of real-world applications, one would be OpenAI's clip which combines vision and language understanding, allowing users to search for images using natural language queries. Another one would be DeepMind's AlphaFold, which uses transformer architectures to predict protein structures with remarkable accuracy, a breakthrough in the field of biology. Also medical imaging. Transformers are being employed to detect anomalies in X-rays, MRIs, and other medical images aiding in faster and more accurate diagnosis. The versatility of the transformer architecture is evident in its expanding applications across diverse domains, from understanding the intricacies of human language to decoding the mysteries of biological sequences, and from visualizing the world around us to bridging gaps between different knowledge domains, transformers are truly revolutionizing the way we harness the power of deep learning. As research progresses and more innovations emerge, the potential applications of transformers are bound to expand even further, touching various facets of technology and science. The inception of transformers wasn't just another milestone in AI. It was a seismic shift. Born from the minds of visionary scientists at Google, these architectures have fundamentally altered our understanding of machine learning capabilities. Their influence isn't confined to the realm of language. From image recognition to medical diagnostics, transformers are laying the groundwork for a new era of AI applications. As we look into the horizon, several predictions emerge. The adaptability and scalability of transformers suggest they might evolve beyond their current capabilities. We might see models that can process multimodal data, which is text, image, and sound in a unified manner offering richer insights and understanding. Furthermore, as quantum computing advances, we might witness the birth of quantum transformers, capable of handling computations at scales we can't currently fathom. Every innovation brings its own set of challenges. For transformers, the road ahead isn't without hurdles. The vast computational resources they demand pose environmental concerns. There's also the challenge of ensuring that as these models grow, they remain free from biases and can be trusted to make critical decisions, be it in healthcare diagnosis or autonomous driving. Transformers, in their essence, are versatile. Their potential integration with technologies like augmented reality could redefine user experiences. Imagine an AR system powered by transformers, capable of real-time multilingual translations and contextual insights as you travel. Similarly, the fusion of transformers with edge AI could lead to smarter devices from wearable to home automation systems capable of processing data locally while offering advanced insights. 
to our friends listening now, the realm of transformers is vast, intricate, and incredibly exciting. Whether you're a researcher, a developer, or someone who is merely intrigued by AI, there's a world of discovery awaiting. The next chapter of AI is being written, and you have the opportunity to be part of it. Well, once again, if you did like this podcast, please don't forget to subscribe to our website at evoai.ai. It takes a minute to do it. Also, please follow our show on Spotify, Apple, Google Cast, Amazon Music, and iHeartRadio, and spread the good word. Until next time. Well, that's a wrap of today's episode of Evo AI. We've delved into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence, unlocking insights that are changing the face of business today and tomorrow. But the exploration doesn't end here. There's always more to discover. Well, I'm Bogdan Yanku, and this has been Evo AI. Together, we're part of something bigger, much bigger, a movement towards understanding, innovation, and growth. Well, if you enjoyed our journey today, don't forget to subscribe and please join us again as we continue to explore the future of AI in business. Until next time, keep evolving.